Hey guys, how's it going? It's Amanda. Hope you guys are all doing well. Today we're going to talk about some travel tech and the first thing that we have is the LCD one from Odyssey. Now Odyssey makes some really high-end headphones so these aren't a cheap pair of headphones but they are budget for their LCD line. Some of those can go into the thousands of dollars but these are only $3.99. And if you can see right here, they have a hand sign card right in there letting you know that they really care about their products. These are designed with audio engineers in mind. They have a reasonably accurate sound and they come in a package that you can take with you. So if you want something that has some really good sound, wow, that's a loud truck going by, you will not have to carry around your big home headphones. So here is my Folk Out Elex. These are about a $700 pair of headphones. And if you can see these folded up in the case, is almost half the size. These kind of collapse a little bit, but that's it, just the headphones, or not the headphones, just the headband, um, allowing them to close a little bit. But you can see here, this is not quite lined up, but it's about half the size. And if these were in a protective case, you can definitely see where this would be about half the size in the small little package, but that's not it. Most of your high-end headphones require something like a DAC amp to power these so that you can get the best sound quality out of them. Well, that requires another thing to add to your bag, and you're talking about a lot of weight and a lot of cases and things where this one little package will hook up to your phone or iPad and give you some amazing open back planar magnetic sounds. So if you're newer to higher end headphones, open back means these grills right here allow air and noises through. So these are not the ones you're gonna wanna use on the plane. These are the one for your hotel room. These are the one for your mama's house, your grandma's house. Somewhere you're gonna be going, spending the night and having some time to have a chill out moment where you don't have a bunch of noises around you or a bunch of people that are gonna hear your noises because they do leak out audio as well. But these sound wonderful and plenty loud from my phone or my iPad. I do not have to listen to these even at 100%. About 50 to 60 is pretty loud. These do connect with three and a half millimeter headphone jack. And I'm gonna be honest, I've been using these over wireless even though that's usually my choice because these just have such a better sound quality. The next thing we have is in this pretty little silicone pink package here, and this is a power bank. It is a 9700, so they call it a 10,000 milliamp power bank, and it has USB-C on one side and then the regular standard USB on the other side, so you have both options here. And speaking of options, you have a ton of options of silicone covers that you can get for this to match any of your outfits or EDC or whatever you want to match them to. But if you look through here, some of the prices are around $19.99. Some of them go up to into like the $26 is $27. Do not buy those for that. And the reason I say that is if you go check out their other things, which I'll try to link all this down below, for $9.99, you can pick up a four pack of different colors of the skins for these. So that's a much better value and saves you a little more money. So the only downside is it doesn't have power delivery, but in this size, it's gonna give you several chargers for your iPhones, AirPods, things like that. Next up, we have the Peak Design Travel Tripod. And this is in the 20 liter Peak Design bag off to the side. And you can just see how small it is. It doesn't look like it's overwhelming the bag. It's lightweight and you can get even lighter, but it's gonna cost you if you pick up the carbon fiber version. This is the aluminum version. I believe it's 350 if I'm not mistaken. Previously, I was using a cheap carbon fiber one, but look how big it is compared, even folded down and inverted. They say this is about the size of a water bottle, and it's so small that I take it so many places that I would normally just left it at home. Now, it does have some tricks up its sleeve. This is the center column, the hook that you normally hang a bag on to give some stability. You can twist that, or pull on it, twist it, and then out pops this phone mount. It didn't pop out. It's actually magnetic held, but it's just really cool that they included it. And on one of the legs, they also have a Allen key and is it two sizes of Allen key? I can't remember, but they do have a tool included with it as well. The fourth item is the Sennheiser Momentum 2s. Most people rate these as the top sounding in-ear earbuds that you can get. And they also have noise canceling built in, which is pretty decent. But these have so much better sound quality than like the AirPod Pros. So there's some things that you need to know. Here in the app, you can turn your transparency on or off. There's two different types of EQs that are built into the app. So you have this one that has these like waveforms on here and you can slide all over wherever you'd like. And then it has a standard EQ. And you can go ahead and fine tune these wherever you want. And then down at the bottom right, you can hit this preset button. So if you have some really broad genres that you like different audio sounds, you can go in and EQ those for each of those and save them. 
So the next thing I really like about the app is these little touch panels are built into the side here and you can go in and customize these way more than you can something like AirPods. They even have volume control, which I absolutely love. You just press and hold and the volume goes up or down depending on whether you're touching the right panel, it goes up or the left panel goes down. And again, you can customize those to whatever you'd like. One of the only downsides is if you want to listen to one while the other charges, you have to listen to the right. It does charge with USB-C and it comes in this really nice cloth case. And the very last thing I have for you guys today is to take care of all of your charging needs. This is an Amazon Basics charger on the right hand side. And on the left hand side is a 13 inch MacBook or a 61 watt power charging brick. So they look very similar. And if I had the 15 inch MacBook, they may be the same size. So their size and form factor tends to be similar until we see the front. You can see that your MacBook only will charge your MacBook unless you unplug it and charge something else. The one on the right, the Amazon one will charge 65 to 100 watt on top, 18 watt, and then the two USBs are 12 watt at the bottom. So you got so much more going on there. You can charge all your things while you're on the go. Well guys, if you've made it this far, check out what I go through to try to make some of these videos. He just wants these so bad. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a comment below letting me know your favorite item or something you think I should share in one of the next videos.